Yeah, I thought I had a bottle of yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Hey, today on the docket, I got something a little different for everybody. Now, I've noticed a lot of people don't know the difference between this bottle and this bottle of Don Julio and Yeho. So, I got both of them and I'm going to taste it and we're going to see what it tastes like. I don't know the difference either. I'm just telling you the truth. Somebody sent me this video right here. Are these not the same I'm thing? Or wrong, but these is not the same thing. Oh. It got the same amount in it and everything. It's the, it's, is my, am I gigging? These not the same exact thing. One just is like 50 to 70 more dollars, bro. Like somebody let me know, is this signature the difference? Am I tripping? I could be saving money. No, it's right there. What the f Somebody please, if you's an alcoholic, let me know, cause y'all could be saving me. And y'all not even gonna know the difference. I'm ready to pour this in here. It's up. I'm, I'm pouring this in here for now on. The guy was confused. Like, this bottle is almost $200, and this bottle is only $55. So, what's the difference? Jake gotcha. Don Julio has a regular and Yeho in his core line, about $50 to $60. It's significantly cheaper than the 1942. The primary difference is the aging. The core is aged between 18 and 24 months and the distillation. The 1942 is exclusively distilled in the brand smaller pot still number six. It produces barrel cycles side by side. Now off the rip, looking at the bottle of Don Julio, you see like the bottle is totally different. And it comes in a box too, but I don't have the box on me. Um, it's also signed by, I guess, the, the maker of this as well at the bottom. I'll try to get close-ups on that for you, but that's what I see as different so far. It does say it's Don Julio 1942, uh, tequila and Yeho, 100% de agave. So that's looking at the bottle. Looking at the square bottle of Don Julio, I see Don Julio 100% de agave, tequila and Yeho. And it also has that signature on it, but it's in the paper. So let's go ahead and compare. I'm gonna open this one up. This video is ridiculous. It costs too doggone much to make this dang video. Get this one open. We must see. Slap the bottle though. Fresh pop. Pulling up that 1942. Do a fresh pop. The top's almost similar too. Pulling up that 1942. Well, then Yeho, Don Julio. Not quite the 19. I'm looking at these and I think I see that the 1942, the long top bottle, may have a hint of darkerness than these right here, just, just by eyeball. So since this is more expensive, I expect this to be better. So I'm going to taste this one first because sometimes when you taste the more expensive things first and these type of comparisons, like I did the Crown Royal Apple versus each other, these type of comparisons, the, the great one will stay lingering on you. It'll stay, it'll have, have your taste buds like feeling flavorful. And this one will, will kind of hide itself in there if it's just decent. So let's go with the square bottle for $55. Cheers. Good, smoky. Um, it's not harsh at all. It's very tame. But that's what I expect from an Añejo. Dang, I like that. I think I did a review on this one or, or maybe I did the repo, but this right here is, this is some nice tequila right here. Sheesh, I like that a lot. So let's go with the fancy bottle. Everybody see inside the clubs and having fun with the 1942, the long bottle. Cheers. That there, 
it's it's smooth. It's just as smooth as this, but it has like a a, a bit more oakier taste. Um, it, the oakier taste, I think this might be aged a little longer. I don't know off the top of my head. It might be aged a little longer, but the oakier taste in this, it's kind of bad mixed with the agave so much. This has a, a, a hint of oakiness. Both of them have smooth taste, but to be honest with you, bro, this Don Julio for $55 and yay ho, I would get this over this just by taste alone. Now bottle, presentation of this is gorgeous. Some people might like the oakier taste. It's crazy because I'm a cognac guy. I do not like the oakier taste on this because it's not as sweet. It's not aged and have a sweetness. It has a true tequila taste to it. And the oakier taste throws this off a little bit to me with, with the truer, truer tequila taste. I like it a little more sweeter. So these, this one tastes like a little, a little more uh, tamed on the oakiness. And oh my gosh, this is very decent. I would pick this over this straight up for the taste. So you can save yourself about 150 bucks if you ask me, if you choose this over Thanks this. Thanks a lot for watching this. At least drop a comment or something, man. These videos costing a lot to make now. I need to get that paper up. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.